Okay, so this is another um, wedding place in Japan. So from the outside, it sort of looks like a Christian church um, on one side of it. Um, the other side of it sort of looks like a European castle sort of thing. Um, so yeah, they've sort of had some ideas of what western style looks like and they've ended up mixing some really funny combinations of english stuff and oh this is a good one look at this this is this is the groom handing the bouquet to the bride or the bride handing the bouquet to the groom which of course i've never seen before but anyway it must be their concept of something romantic and western so yeah it's sort of i don't know yeah it's an interesting mix of stuff sort of their ideas of stuff western stuff spanish and english and i don't know italian and yeah all sorts of stuff all mixed together so yeah it sort of ends up sort of cluttered and weird it's sort of weird like um doesn't have a flavor it, it doesn't have any sort of real sort of style there's too much too much mixed together like mixing a whole heap of alcohols together in one nasty punch sort of thing so this is the chapel which sort of doesn't look too bad on video but it's the same it's sort of trying to be a christian church and it just doesn't do it it's sort of once again it's sort of english and spanish and you know these lead light windows are sort of cool but if you look at them close up they're sort of islamic or something at the top there and then some sort of semi-christian images so yeah it was sort of nice it was in a great spot right next to the ocean but yeah it just sort of had a really weird mixed up feeling to it you didn't know where you were <laughs> outside in the garden you know sort of funny pillar there just standing there in the middle of nowhere sort of greek i guess lampshade sort of english i guess and then that dome that looks like hiroshima um and then some sort of spanish archways <coughs> and then they've got this one which is like the the Bali rooms or it's one building and it's supposed to be Bali style and it sort of is but then once again in amongst all the Bali stuff they've got Spanish stuff and um, English stuff and Indonesian stuff and yeah it's just I don't know funny place I didn't like it it was sort of yeah no nah, I didn't like it <laughs> Because of the style, or the styles, or something. It had so much style it ended up not having any style, something like that. And barley prints on the walls. Sort of Spanish light. And barley walls, things, doors, things. And some more lead light with a windmill in it. And a castle. And a ship, like a Spanish galleon, indeed. Some dude looking colonial or something, I don't know. They're really cluttered, you know, just lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, more lead light. What's that, a Balinese piano? I don't know. You see, outside's pretty cool, overlooking the ocean. Be alright for a curry restaurant or something. This is their other building. It's um, I think I think she said it was supposed to be French style, but 
once again just a real mix of stuff and really cluttered just lots of stuff everywhere this is probably the least cluttered and the least tacky room this one wasn't too bad Eh. Eh. Once again, nice outlook, but no, I don't think so.